Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's very early in the morning as you just saw but I'm excited because in today's video I'm going to be showing you what a day of a computer science student might look like and I'm in my final year by the way. So I actually woke up around 6am. I just didn't film that because you don't want to see me at 6 a.m. I didn't have the energy to film and I was hungry so I had breakfast and yeah filming very early in the morning is just not my thing we're all kind of lucky that I'm even filming at 7 30 ish in the morning but just to run through what I've done so far this morning so I woke up I had breakfast and I was just tidying up my room a little bit so here is a timeline of the rest of the day for you to see and I guess we'll somehow get through it one thing to note though is that I am actually aiming to start going to the gym in the morning but because today is my rest day i will not be going to the gym and instead i'll be taking you guys out for a walk an early morning walk if you could hit the like button subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below that would be much appreciated but anyways let's get straight into it so the first thing on the list was to do a bit of early morning reading all right so that's a little bit of reading done now i'm going to shower and then get ready for a quick walk all right so just had my shower now let's get ready to head outside. Yep, so just going on a nice peaceful, actually it wasn't that peaceful because it was rush hour, but a morning walk. My past self actually has something to say, so I'm actually going to pass it on to my past self. I think it's really important that before you start working, you have some time to yourself just to get your mind ready for work mode. So that's the approach that I'm trying to take for my final year at university. At this point I realised that if I carried on walking ahead I would end up somewhere where I didn't actually know. So what I decided to do was to turn around and head back. Okay so we're back now from that nice walk and I'm now going to talk about the final year project for my computer science degree. If you don't study computer science this is equivalent to a dissertation. Okay cool so if you're thinking of studying computer science or you're in your first or second year of studying a computer science degree you might be aware that for your final year of your undergraduate course you will need to complete some sorts of project. At my university students get the freedom to choose what their final year project is and if if you want to get the high marks your project needs to have some advanced features so I won't reveal what my final year project is just in case I want to go on and you know maybe sell it I can let you know that it is an app to do with legal services and the reason I wanted to go down that route is because after I finish my computer science degree I'm going to do a law conversion course before I start my training contract so I wanted to have the law aspect in my education even now whilst I'm studying computer science so here I am just developing my Swift UI skills. I'm using Xcode and if you are unfamiliar with what Xcode or Swift UI is, let me tell you really quickly. So Swift UI is a relatively new programming language that is used to program applications for Apple devices. And the application I'm currently programming is for iOS. So if you have an iPhone, my app would be compatible with your iPhone. And Xcode is just the IDE or the integrated development development environment that is used to enable Swift UI development. Now there's only a few minutes until 10 a.m. so I'm going to put you down and I'm going to have my meeting. So I just had my meeting with my project supervisor. The meeting went well, just need to make a few minor changes to my project brief and then it should be ready for submission. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make those changes to the project brief and then I am gonna do a little bit more of Swift UI learning and then I am going to catch up on a few lectures from earlier in the week. Let's get straight into the work. 
All right, so I've just finished making the changes to my project brief and catching up with one of my module lectures. I think now was a good time to talk about my final year modules. So let me tell you about it. All right, cool. So I'm currently doing four modules for my final year and those are excluding my final year project. So with my final year project, I'd be doing five modules, but obviously my final year project goes on for the entire year. Whereas the other four modules finish at the end of semester one. So one cool thing about studying in computer science at my university which is Loughborough University is that in your final year you can choose which modules you're going to study and some of those choices include some business modules. I will say however that these business modules at least the ones that I'm currently doing do have some sort of tech influence in them but it's still quite a bit different to what a standard computer science module would be like. So just to clarify that point if you don't study computer science there are three types of modules when you study computer science. At least these are the ones that I've been able to identify so far in my degree and these three types of modules will be your theory modules your maths modules and your coding modules but the cool thing is that in final year here at Loughborough University if you study computer science you can also choose business modules which don't fall into any of those categories and because I'm quite interested in business and because after my degree I'm going to go into commercial law as a career I found the business modules to be quite an interesting choice for me and and I decided to go ahead with them. So the modules that I've chosen for semester one, they are business systems, which is all about business systems. Second one is agent-based systems. So this is sort of in the artificial intelligence realm. The third one is cloud computing. This one's a very interesting one for me. And then the final one is entrepreneurship and innovation, which is all about entrepreneurship and innovation. And actually, you know, rather than just saying the names, if you want me to do a detailed explanation of all of these modules, then leave a comment down below to let me know that. But for now, those are the modules that I've chosen for my first semester. And now that I've told you all of this, I want to get some lunch. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna stop filming here because I don't wanna hold my camera and cook at the same time. I know I do have a tripod, but there's not that much space and I don't wanna like bump into my camera. So, a few moments later. Hey guys, so I had my lunch, but um, I finished my lunch and then I went straight into my lecture. So I wasn't really able to film the transition period, but now I'm in a break before the final lecture slot of today. And what I've just realized is that I've been in my room for the whole day. So what I'll show you before the video ends is what the actual lecture halls and labs look like, just so that you know what sort of environment a computer science student would typically work in. Okay, so here I am making some TikToks for my TikTok page. If you don't follow me on TikTok, make sure you give that a follow for interesting legal facts. So yeah, now for the rest of today, I'm going to have my dinner and just chill for a bit, do some reading and then call it a day. It's been a very long day. I've tried my best to capture all of the moments. And if you have any questions regarding computer science or any of the modules I'm doing or Swift UI, then do hit me up. And yeah, if you like this video, then drop a like, subscribe to my channel if you're new for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time for another video.